Hello everyone. Hey beauty connoisseurs. Welcome to the channel and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I would appreciate if you would hit the red subscription button down below and help me grow this channel. And also click on the notification bell so that you will always know when I upload a new video. I do a lot of wig reviews and I try to uh, do the affordable wigs and um, I also do a little bit of fashion, uh, some uh, fashion hauls and a tiny bit of makeup. I'm still learning how to do that. And every now and then maybe a D DIY or a more instructional video as far as styling and maintaining your hair or coloring the hair or something like that. So if you're interested in this unit that I'm wearing, it is by Red Carpet and her name is Hazel and I'll leave the information card for her right up here. If you're interested in the unit that uh, caught your attention in the thumbnail, please keep on watching. today is by the Janet Collection and she's a short flirty style unit. Her name is Sasha and what made me get is is simply just because Sasha is my oldest granddaughter's name and she just turned two. And I have this in the color DYF4 3330. I used to wear 3330s a lot outside of um, 430 and so this is what the hair looks like this is the back of it and here's the front you don't get a part and we flip the cap inside out it's a full cap and there's no combs this is the front Here's the back, and that's the tag, so that's the back, but there's no comb in the back either, but you have the adjustable bands. So there's no lace to cut off, yay! So I'm just gonna cut the tag off and put this on, and I'll be right back. So you all know when you first get these little short sassy wigs, they don't really look like much out of the package. And so this one is no exception. Um, there's no, like I said, there was no combs, but it, the ear taps do come exactly in the right spot. And um, I only have on a wig grip. I never utilize combs anyway, but if you just have to have combs, you can always um, get the combs, just cut the combs out of an old wig and sew these, sew the combs in yourself. And you can also use bobby pins to anchor the wig, um, especially if you're wearing a wig grip. You just, you know, put the pin in right here and just kind of let it um, hold in place. And I can feel that and I can, you know, tell that it's more secure and you can also utilize it in the back to just make sure you hide the bobby pin and like I have some bobby pins that are not only black but these are like bronze so they will match the lighter color hair so um oh and guess what this came with an invoice can you believe that I got this from best hair world they're out of Belleville, New Jersey, and this wig was $16.95 with $4.95 shipping. So for a total of $21.90, $22, that was, you know, the price of this. So if I don't like it, then, you know, I haven't spent a whole ton of money. So I'm going to style this and see what I come up with. You know, we just kind of finger it around and mess with it until we come up with something and then... I'll come back and give you my final thoughts.
came up with um, just playing around with it and fluffing it out where I want it fluffed out and just trying to move the hair where I want it to be and let it frame my face or whatever. And um, for some reason, this color is reminding me of I Love Lucy. I love this color. And I didn't like how, how the color was really blunt in the back. So I brushed the hair down into the uh, bottom part of the wig so that it just wouldn't be just such a a blunt line of demarcation where the color changes and so that's what I came up with and um, it fits a little snug and of course there's no tangling or shedding and I put just a little bit of this Simply Styling because it was looking kind of dull and Simply Styling does have a little bit of a shine, not a, not, it's, it's, it's not an oil sheen or anything like that, but it, it does have a, give the hair a little bit of luster, a natural luster, I should say. So, yeah, that's what I came up with, and um, the, the density is nice. You can't see any part of the wig cap or any tracks or anything like that. And so, uh, you know, these wigs always look cute with a little hat or something. So, let's put this one on and see. I'm not really feeling that one. Let's put on this black one and see what we get. Now, that's cute. I like that one. So, yeah, that's, you know, really all I have to say about Sasha, Miss Sash, Sassy Sasha. So, um, let me find some sunnies.